Well, hello folks. I know it's been uh, been a day or two since I told you I'd make you another video, but as you can see from the back of it, this is the 94, 94, golly Bundy. This is the 1984 GTI that I was working on back all spring. Uh, well, you see my Trump sign right there. You've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm a Trump man, and I just I hope that works out. But anyways, uh, got it finished out. It uh, it was a whole lot of fun. I mean, it it literally was a whole lot of fun. Uh, everything underneath the car. Let me just go ahead and explain this right here. See how it's bonded on the top? It starts from right about the top of the driver's head, all the way down this left side. That's where the tree hit it. There's a little closer. That's where the tree fell on it. And uh, what ended up, see it right there on the top, you can see the bondo's cracked here. What ended up uh, pretty much allowing me to get it. But anyhow, got the, uh, put new gas tank under it, rebuilt the bushes in the rear end, new fuel pump, then tore the front end apart, pulled the motor, uh, new alternator, new valve springs, new cam, uh, new fuel distributor, cleaned injectors, oh god, new radiator, you name it, it's under it. It still looks like a pile of junk, I will just give you that, but it is the runningest pile of junk you've ever set your tail down in. It, uh, Run it up there at about 5,000 RPMs all the way through fifth gear. And it's fun. I mean, it it's a ball of fun. I, I ain't, and if for people that's got them, I got a pole in the way. Sorry about that. If you people that's got them, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, from what I keep reading, these boys is putting them VR6s and stuff in them. I bet they're really that blame set the world on fire, but... Uh, my boy got them headlights, or they're different headlights, but you know, I'm a 54 year old and I don't see as well as I did when I was 16. They really help, but uh, you get a little view the engine compartment. Uh, put this Euro Sport stress bar across, and uh, that seemed to help a ton. And put one on the bottom, and I know that one helped a ton because. It, uh, it handles great. The only thing I'm worried about is it gets real light in the back end. And of course, I read about that, and uh, I guess they was notorious. Ours would be a little bit better. I had to fabricate me a alternator bracket right there. It don't look the best in the world, but it functions. Uh, Right here's what I run into problems with when you get out from behind the pole. That is a brand new rebuilt fuel distributor. Uh, had it rebuilt for a guy out in California. And they ain't cheap, but uh, he dialed it in for me. Put it on and laid the fuel to it. And about the third or fourth time it turned over, she fired right up. Uh, that's the heart of it. You know, I had the black one that I bought from my boy and kept having problems with it and guess what? Right there it was. That is that is a culprit just about every time. I mean I just keep on showing these pictures of the motor. But uh just a one point eight. But changing that cam out and putting them uh them taller valve springs in helped it a ton. Let me back up here in the corner see if I can get you See the rust in the fender wells and all that. I guess you figured out I ain't gonna paint it. We're gonna put some eclipse later on all these rust places and I'm just gonna clear cut it. I'm uh, I'm in the middle of uh, I'm gonna get close here on this again. I'm in the middle of uh, trying to get the seats fixed out. To, Pasture seat, I guess, I guess that goes without saying is pretty good on all of them because nobody really sits, but that driver's seat. 
Now I've been drying for about, sorry about that. I've been drying for about three months and I weigh 231 pounds, so, and I ain't no little feller. But anyway, I've wore it out and the fabric's broke. But I've got pieces of seats and uh, tore one apart. Right there's the frame of it yesterday. And I, and I thought, I really did think, that that is going to be a real pain in the tail, but uh, like everything else, and Germans thought about everything. And it's, it's a pretty simple process. It's time consuming, but if I can do it, anybody else. My dice is all the pieces in it. Uh, had to put me a GPS there in front. Just, I just like GPS. It's neat, but interior is not bad. All my gauges work. I took air conditioning off of it, and I didn't want to cut any more power out of it than I could. But uh, it's fun. I took the back seat out because I got a I got a powder coating business, and sometimes when it's raining, I don't want to get nothing wet. I just pile everything right there in the back when I'm delivering parts and such. And go from there. Uh, let me pop the trunk right here for you. Bear with me. There's a back end. Boy put two old speakers he had behind the window when he was, so he could listen to his music when he was driving. But anyhow, it, uh, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna crank it up and be loud and Dickens in here in the shop. I got, uh, went through, there you go, Tektronics. I got my cam and valve springs and all through them and uh, a few other parts. Got my whole, the whole exhaust down pipe from them too. And it, uh, it, it makes a lot of difference. It really sounds, sounds good. I mean, it, 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 it does. It I was afraid it sounded like a dad Jim mad bumblebee, you know. And I told him I didn't want that. There's my blue healer. He's pretty, but he's meaner than a striped snake. Uh, but I didn't want to sound like no bumblebee. And they promised me that they, with their tune down pipe and, and all, so it wouldn't. And they weren't lying. They weren't. It, uh, it sounds good. It sounds real good to be a four-cylinder. But, uh. We've slapped stickers all over the side of it. I've got a sand blasting business too. And there's some of them, but it, it's got a MagnaFlow, uh, there it is, MagnaFlow muffler on it. And it muffles it down pretty good, so anyway. Uh, I will tell you something right here. I wanted to go ahead and put the same wheels and tires back on it. And them ain't in great shape, you know, but they sort of match your car, but I took a chance and ordered 205 6014s. I was afraid that's going to rub, but uh, I put Bill's steam uh, shocks and struts on the front of it. And I'll just go ahead and warn you right off the top of the bat, you can run over a dime and feel it. It's stiff. I mean, it's stiff as a bullet. Rides like a wagon, but uh, anyhow, I'll uh, get ready to rain here. I'd crank it up and back it out here on it and get it out of the shop so you could hear it, but I'll make you a video going down the road and get my boy in there and get him to film it, uh, and we'll go from there, but I just wanted to let y'all know I got it done, and if by any means you find one, And especially it's a two-door GTI, just go buy it. I mean, seriously. Uh, I paid six hundred dollars for this thing, and I'm married to an accountant, so you know bean counters. Uh, I got right at thirty-one hundred dollars in it right now. I think he said. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. Not counting the stuff I bought right now paid with cash that you don't know about so I got more than that probably but still it's uh it's fun it's neat to drive and me and the dog like to ride in it and every night we'll get out and two line the road and back and all that but 
Anyhow, I know you's all out the house watching YouTube and worried about this corona of Chinese mess. And I'm going to tell you something about that, and I'll shut up. Uh, it all boils down to simply this. If you're worried about dying, then you need to open your Bible. Okay? Because the, the Bible says, and I'm, I'm talking to you from my heart. I lost my mom back in May. Not from no Chinese virus either. The Lord called her home. But if you're worried about uh, dying... That tells me that you're worried about your salvation. And if you ain't, ain't got your heart right and you don't believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then I understand why you're worried about dying and you're worried about catching this mess and, and you're treating everybody like they got the dead blame zombie flu or something. You know, folks, if, if you just take a minute and sit down and read your Bible, the Bible says live not in fear. Not ever leave you to live your life in fear. You know, trust in Jesus Christ because, you know, t death is a reward. Death is a reward if you're saved. You know, it, it ain't going to be, ain't going to lie to you. If you ain't saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, it ain't a reward. You know, the Bible says you'll spend eternity in, in hell separated from, from God. And folks, I know in my heart that that ain't going to be good. Okay? So if this, this China mess has got you worried and you're worried about dying, open your Bible. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior because that's the only way. We ain't none of us going to get out of here alive. I mean, that goes without saying too. But uh, get your heart right. Get right with the Lord in that way. You won't have to be worried about this corona. And that way you can treat people different. Somebody don't wear a mask, and I'm one of them, because I'm not worried about dying. I know where I'm going to end up when I do, okay? So if the rest of the world just take that same attitude, these masks, they ain't stopping nothing. I got a daughter that's in a medical field, and these masks don't even stop the common flu. And this Chinese virus is smaller Micron something, I don't hold me, she tells me all this stuff. It's smaller than that, so it just flies right through any kind of mask you put on, unless you got some big fancy respirator or some mess. So get your heart right. I promise you, get your heart right, trust in our Lord and Savior, and that way you can go back to living your life like you're supposed to. All right? I'm going to shut up with my sermon now. I'm not a Baptist preacher, I'm just saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Y'all take care. Have a good one.